Alright guys, welcome back to the second part of this Python Plays Minecraft session. We are going to carry on with our little market stall thing. I've come up with a solution, one which I think you guys will probably enjoy. Now obviously because this is a, the same session as the last episode, obviously I haven't been able to look through your comments, so it'll be after this episode that I'll be able to look at your comments and suggestions and whatnot. So don't worry your faces, it's not that I'm not looking at comments, it's it's the, you know, sessions and recording, you know, it's just complicated. Let's just go with that, alright? So, as you can see, I've picked up a bunch of iron from my main area. I've got a couple of iron blocks, got some iron ingots, and of course a bunch of unsmelted iron. And I've got some bars as well, which is pretty damn cool. Made myself and grabbed myself a bunch of food as well, which is all good. And uh, yeah, we're all good to go. Let's get back into the uh, first person mode. And let's go ahead and uh, head our way back to the uh, to the water dungeon now for those of you who don't know or do you want to know how I get there what we need to do is we need to go up this little area uh yeah get up there we go all right good stuff so we go over here we just follow these little nether brick things along the light like beacons aren't they light the beacons you guys have got to know what that came from you know that reference. If you don't know that reference, then I don't know where you've been these last few years, because, uh, you know, you've probably been living under a rock or something. That's, like, one of the one of the greatest things ever. There are a lot of guests around. I can hear a lot of them. I don't like it, man. I don't like it one bit. They can all go to hell. Oh, that's right, they're already in hell. Hmm. Well, hmm. That's a good question, actually. Where do you send people if they're already in hell? H how does that even work? Is it like a super hell? With the super devil in it or something? Do you know what? I don't even know. <laughs> what? Why am I going into these things? So weird. So very, very weird. Right, now as you can see, I've also set up a little temporary farm over here because you know what? I, I think I'm going to need it. There we go. Obviously, that's only temporary, as is that. That's obviously grown. So, uh, yeah, we're all pretty much good to go. As you can see, got ourselves a bunch of colored wool. And the reason why I need a bunch more iron bars is so I can basically do this. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to get a bunch of uh, zombie villagers, going to kill them, I'm going to lure them into these little rooms, and then obviously, once I've done that, I'm just simply going to go ahead and do that. So, obviously, I'll just be able to walk over here, boom, get some trades going, and, you know, yeah, yeah. All good. <laughs> yeah. My little market stand area. It's going along, isn't it? Looks pretty damn cool. Right, okay. So let's put that there. I've even started uh, working out the little floor plan right here. As you can see, we've got these little uh, prismarine bricks as uh, as like an outline, which is pretty cool. I like that. Uh, let's just go in here and have a look at how the roof is looking. Um, hmm. I don't like that. I do not like that. I would like to replace the roof with these, uh, with these bricks. I think that would be a good idea. Right, okay. So... Uh, bricks. There we go. Okay, so obviously these places are going to flood out. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but yeah. Here well. Here we go. <laughs> just, just get it. Just get on with it, Python. Just get on with it. Don't, don't dilly dally. Don't, don't misplace blocks either, because that particularly annoys me a lot. I hate it. Misplacing blocks. It's nothing worse. Nothing worse. All right. Boom, 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 and boom. That's okay. That's that's that one done. All right. Let's go in here. Let's do the same. All right. Good stuff. Yep. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then of course the final room, right over here. Only two to do. Okay. Boom, boom. Yeah. And as you can see, I've also got some sea lanterns in here as well. So uh, yeah, got a bit of light in there as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's the little that's the little market area. Uh, I don't know. Some of them I might have multiple villages in because you know this is a pretty large place in it. I might be able to have two villages in that one. This one probably one. This one probably one, and then this one maybe two again. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, you know, there's some of them are five blocks wide, some of them are four blocks wide, hence the double sea lantern in the middle. So, uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, that looks pretty cool. I'm okay with that. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, do that. There we go. Make the floor just a wee bit better. All right, that's the marketplace. Just about done and dusted. Yeah, I'm liking that. Liking it a lot. Okay, guys, I think the next thing I'm going to do is something I said I was going to do in the last episode, and that is grab a bunch of sand, chuck it in the furnace diet, and then start going ahead and uh, replacing the roof. This is going to be a bit of a gargantuan task, isn't it? Oh, man. It would be nice to have blue stained glass, so what I'm thinking is combining the... Gr wait. Oh, the green dye is probably in the chest. It's combining the green dye and some lapis lazuli. Uh, get, get out of here, you stupid guardian. What is up with you, brother? God damn. 
So yeah, bunch of blue glass, bunch of blue stuff basically. And you know what, I'm just going to start digging out some sand here because you know what? It's there for a reason. It either gets collected or it stays there, becomes an old man and I don't, know, I don't even know where I was going with that. <laughs> what? What is Python saying these days? Oh boy. Alright, let's go for it. Right, let's pick up some more sand. And I'll tell you what guys, I shall go ahead and skip this part because it's going to be a little bit boring, you know, digging out sand and not doing too much. So let me go ahead, get on with this, and I shall meet you guys once we are ready to start placing down some stained glass. Yeah! See you guys in a minute. Alright guys, I am back. There's a bunch of things smelting over there including glass and, uh, well not glass, sand to make glass and then also some uh, some cacti. I actually brought over some cacti from my old place to make some green dye so I can make some uh, teal dye I think, or cyan, whatever the hell it's called. But, oh god damn it, that's gonna be annoying. So here's what we're gonna do, we are going to put the momentous sign on here, here we go. Neptune's Kingdom, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, it's Neptune's Empire, isn't it? God damn it, I keep... Why do I keep saying Neptune's Kingdom? This is not the thing! It's Neptune's Empire, because it sounds more epic. And, of course, we've got the guy's name, which is, of course, Nate Yan Seng. There we go, buddy. Yay! Awesome things. Now, what, what I do intend on doing at some point is making a proper entrance, and I intend to put the signs outside as well, so, uh, you know, so you can always know where you are. You are inside Neptune's Empire of Awesomeness. So... Let's go now. We've got a bunch of glass going, which is amazing. Right, okay, let's grab that one out as well. There we go. Uh, got some cactus green. Awesome sauce. Wait, I thought you got two cactus green from each bit of cactus. What the hell? Have they nerfed this? Oh man. I didn't bring enough blooming cactus green. Man. Minecraft has been stingy as hell. That's not nice, man. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Right, okay, cyan dye, lapis dye. Uh, can I, can I make... No, that's not how it works, is it? Okay, uh, it's, it's, it's that, isn't it? Light blue dye. Mm. I think cyan dye would work better with the, uh, with the prisma we've got going here. So here's what's gonna happen. Uh, we are gonna grab this, and, uh, we are going to do a bit of this. Here we go, half a stack of cyan stained glass. I almost said clay for some reason. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go up there, and what we're gonna do is we are going to put a massive N inside it. N for Neptune, obviously. Yes. Okay, so boom, boom. Boom. Keep it going, brother. I need some more than that. Come on, man. Minecraft is so stingy with its dyes these days. Kind of annoying. Right, okay. I need to put some stuff away inside the chest because, well, I don't have a lot of space. Right, okay. Let's do this. We are going to go up there and we are going to make a big N inside of the roof. And we're going to do it this way. So as you walk in, you can just look up and boom. There you go. Big N. Awesome. Here we go. Go on up. Oh, boy. I hope this works out because if it doesn't, I'm going to be mad. I will not be a happy python, not by any stretch. Right, okay. There we go. Right, now. Um, do we go... Yeah, I'm going to go with the cyan stained glass for the N and then the, uh, the the darker the darker blue for the rest of it. So, here's what we're going to do. Boom, boom. Quick place. Quick place. Uh, do you know what? Ugh. Oh, I was going to get rid of the crops, isn't it? Ah, oh, crap! No! Oh, you blithering... Ugh. Python's an idiot! Python's an idiot! Shut up. Ah, oh, damn it, man. This is gonna be such a pain to place. But, do you know what? It's gonna be worth it, okay? It's gonna be worth it. There's only a few crops. I could grab the seeds back, I guess. If I'm obviously doing this in time. Right, okay. Boom! Obviously, I'm using the uh, the number keys to uh, quickly switch my uh, my inventory hot bar slot thing. Right, okay. There we go. I've just realized there's only two spaces in the middle here. How are we going to make an N? Um, with two spaces. Okay, maybe one here. There we go. One there. Okay, and then maybe have that one there, and then that one there. Alright, and then we go over this side, start placing these in. Hmm, didn't have as much space as I uh, first thought I would, to be honest with you guys. Right, okay. Oh, come on. Come on, there we go. Get it on, buddy, get it on. I am almost done making an N. Oh my god, I'm so good at making letters of the alphabet in Minecraft, this is ridiculous. Right, I have no idea how that looks from up here, obviously, so I'm gonna have to go down. Have a, uh, a wee little look-see. Is that an N? Does that look like an N to you? Do you know what? It doesn't, does it? That needs to move up, doesn't it? Because look, that's down there, that's kind of in the middle. 
I don't know, man. It looks really... What the... How did you get me from there? Jeez. What is up with those dudes? They've got some serious anger issues. They need to, like, go to therapy or something. Stupid freaking... Ugh. I don't know, man. They really do have some uh, some issues they need to sort out, don't they? Right, okay. Boom. Stained glass. Awesome. Right, okay. Let's get up there and let's finish this thing off, my friends. Yes. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go up. We're gonna fix that end. I'm gonna go up here. Here we go. Oh, man. I'm looking forward to it, guys. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. Once again, not entirely fussed about getting those blocks back since we have a lot of them. Alright, so that's there. That's there, so I need to grab Prismarine, get rid of that, put that there. That no longer looks like an N, does it? That really doesn't. That does not look like an N. What if I do that and then also do that? Hmm. 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 Something's wrong. Something doesn't seem right with this N. <laughs> Spending all this time trying to do a freaking M in Minecraft. This is stupid. With a, with what is it, a six by six pixel space? Do you know what? That looks like an N to me. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna roll with it. I'm done doing freaking letters. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna do the rest of this little roof thing off camera. We'll see how it looks. If it looks bad, then we're just gonna go with this N like so. If it looks good, then I'll bring you back, hopefully, with, uh, with a good progress update, I guess. So, meet you guys back in a minute. Yeah, you can't really tell there's an N there, can you? Hmm, don't like it. Don't like it. Reverting. Oh yeah, that looks good. Got a little bit of lining up there in the way of sea lanterns. Kind of, uh, it kind of makes it stand out, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh yeah. Right, okay, right. What's the next thing we want to do? I'd say making some sort of house? Some room? Maybe? I don't know, honestly. Some sort of housing room. How is this going to work? I have no idea. I honestly have no idea how this is going to work. Where I'm going to put the little bedroom or whatever. Um, hmm. Right, let's grab that block back first. Uh, right, so we've got that going there. We've got the farm. Little market area. Okay, I mean, we don't really need a name for a market area, because that is literally all it is. It's, it's the market area. It's Neptune's Empire market area. Awesome source. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to the uh, sort of buildings that I really don't know what to name, then, uh, you know, I'll give you the guys the chance, of course, to, uh, to give give the buildings a name. I think that'd be pretty cool. Right. Okay, so, the ne do you know what? I think the next thing I want to do is decorate this front entrance right here, because it is looking... A little bleak. I mean, yeah, these little patterns look pretty cool, but I think the front could be made out of glass. A combination of glass and these dark prismarine bricks. I think that could work extremely very well. So what we're going to do is we are going to make ourselves another chest, just to sort of lop onto that one. Alright, there we go. Because we've got a bunch of sand I need to chuck away. There we go. Don't need all of it right now. Uh, let's see how we're doing on the glass. Oh yeah, loads of loads and loads of stuff on the glass. Okay, good stuff. Boom, boom. Uh, dark prismarine, give me that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves some more glass. So we're going to make ourselves a stack of that. We're going to make ourselves a stack of cyan. I don't have cyan. Okay. Okay, here we go. That should make me four cyan. There we go. Wait, no, I want a full stack, don't I? Okay, one, two, one, two. There we go. There we go. That's going to give us a full stack of cyan wool. No, not wool. Well, why, why am I saying what? This is stupid. Right, okay, here we go. Oh man, this is going to be such a pain in the ass to do. It really is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of section off more of this uh, sort of front entrance thing. And the reason why I'm going to do that is so I can have like stripes of these alternating colours between blue and cyan. I don't know, man. I think that will work pretty well, you know, having a little bit of a pattern going here and there. Yee. Yeah. Right, okay, boom. Uh, yeah, one down there. If I can get in there, there we go. Yeah, okay, that's looking good. All right, let's do the other side, make it nice, symmetrical. So basically, literally just coming down in a diagonal fashion. All right, there we go. And of course, all one right there. Okay, uh, let's try and get this one sectioned off a bit. Okay, so maybe do it around here. Go down. All right, that's looking pretty good. And this last section, I don't know, man. Maybe that looks good as it is. 
There we go. And if I do the same... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Too, too early, too early, too early, too early, too early. No, 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 I just... No, no, no! Oh. This farm is in the most inopportune place. Uh. This farm is so annoying. It's caused me nothing but grief since I planted it. Absolutely nothing has grown. And there is literally no point in it being there. So what is the point of me having it? It's so stupid. I'm raging at the fact that I have a fully non-functioning farm because I keep uprooting everything because I'm being a complete and utter imbecile. Right, get out. Well, there we go. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we need to try and replicate the pattern on the uh, the left-hand side. So that shouldn't be too difficult, right? Alright, let's go up here. So obviously that's going to go down like so. Boom. Boom. Okay, so I'm just trying to think of how to do this. That's going diagonal, isn't it? So, wait, is that going diagonal? I'm just trying to have a look. Just trying to have a look. Yeah, that, that does go diagonal. Okay, good. <laughs> Watching a grown man rage at a video game because his, well, probable OCD is going absolutely insane right now. Okay. There we go. Come on. Yep, that goes there. And we shall have... How's this working again? At the side. Yep, that works pretty well for me. So it was here and here. There we go. Rid that rid that. Okay, right. Now, the glass placing can commence. And there is a guy trying to swim into my temple. What are you doing, brother? Get out. Stupid idiot. <laughs> he thinks he can take me down easy. He is sorely mistaken. Very much so. Right. Uh, I kind of want to have a look at this from the outside just to see how the pattern looks. Let's just do that really quick just before we uh, start placing down the glass. Right. Okay. So this is how the pattern looks at the moment. Looks pretty okay. I'm I'm alright with this. This looks pretty alright. It's nice and symmetrical, which is uh, which is obviously a bonus. So that is very very good indeed. Right. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we are going to start placing this stuff down. I'm probably gonna do this in the form of a montage time lapse because this is gonna take a fair while, and also it's gonna be very annoying. So yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be a thing. All right, guys. Let me get on with this, and I'll meet you guys hopefully once it is finished. Alrighty guys, I guess while this time lapse is playing, we can actually get into the question of the video, which for today comes from a user by the name of The Six Slayer, and it is, do you ever use creative mode on Python Plays Minecraft? No, I never have used creative mode on my Python Plays Minecraft series, nor any of my Minecraft series for that matter, well apart from the plot busters one, but that is a creative series, so you know creative is used on there. But uh, all of my other series, every single other of my Minecraft series have always been in survival mode. I don't know about you guys, but I find it's so much more satisfying to complete a build in Minecraft when you've actually gotten all the resources and made the effort to make the house yourself. Do you know what I mean? Instead of having everything given to you in creative mode, uh, you could just go ahead, mine the resources and have the satisfaction of saying, do you know what? I made an effort with this. I got the resources. I built this thing without flying or anything like that, and I feel pretty get damn good about that. I don't know, that's always been my stance in Minecraft. And uh, in terms of mods, it's pretty much the same there as well. Things like Vein Miner, I I'm not a fan of them. I'm not a fan of them. The reason being is because I like to be able to work for my rewards. I like to work for the things I want to get. So, I don't know, it's just, it's just my stance on things. I guess you guys have a different opinion on that. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, that's going to bring me on to my question of the video for you guys, which is, what is your favourite game mode in Minecraft? Now, obviously, the, it isn't just limited to uh, survival or creative. You've got, like, random game modes, like, I don't know, ultra hardcore, you know, things like that. Things that maybe make the game a little bit different. I don't know. Leave your responses in the comments area below. And also, while you're down there, be sure to leave your questions of the video in the comments area below. And you'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. And leave them by the bucket load as well, because obviously... Next episode is episode 60, which will be an extended episode with a map download. And uh, that brings me on to extended episodes. Uh, the point of the matter being, because I'm doing this series less often now, I'm actually going to be increasing the length of the episodes a bit. Maybe between 20 to 30 minutes, whereas before I was doing it between 15 and 20 minutes. So, you know, it's, it's a bit of a compensation thing, I guess, for having less 
off in videos from this series. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. So, uh, yeah. Moving on. Let's get on with the rest of this thing. And I'll meet you guys back in just a moment. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the front entrance is looking pretty damn snazzy, if I do say so myself. Look at it! That is so awesome! You can see, like, the front entrance sort of beam things with those sea lanterns out there. You can see all the little guardians floating around. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I really do. Oh, man. The only thing is, I think it could do with a little bit of lighting on either side. So, here's the plan. Here is the plan. We are going to grab this out. Okay, we're actually going to put that right next to the uh, the, the, the axe of silkiness. Now, right, we're going to go over here. And we're actually going to go ahead, get rid of this. Chuck that in there. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So, boom. Let's go over here and... Break it. Boom. There we go. Chuck that in. And let's see how it's looking now. Oh yeah, pretty damn awesome. Uh, although maybe up in those little top corners there, maybe you know, just doing a little bit of, doing a little bit of renovation, just uh, just to, I don't know, make things look cool, I guess. Right, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Chuck that up there. So what is that? Number six. There we go. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's go over this side. All right, let's do the same. So chuck that in there. Alright, and once again, we're going to go ahead, go down, have a look at the place, and then we shall see how it looks. I genuinely have no idea how long this second episode has been so far, so, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Right. Oh my god, that looks so cool. That actually looks so cool. I am a big, big fan of that. Although, on a sec, again, a little bit of the old renovation things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place some bricks like that. Here we go. Now the pattern looks sort of more complete, doesn't it? Oh, that's so cool. i got to take a selfie here. I'm taking a selfie, friends. If you don't like it, you know what you can do. There you go. Oh, so cool. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. That just makes me so happy just looking at it. It's just brilliant, isn't it? To think that this was a naturally generated structure and the amount of adapting you can do in Minecraft is just absolutely amazing. Just experiment with the blocks and you never know. You're going to come up with like the next great breakthrough, aren't you? It's just brilliant. I love it. That's what I love about Minecraft. Building, experimenting. There's just so many things to do, isn't there? There really is. Oh, that's weird. It looks like an N either way you look at it. I forgot that you could flip an N and it still looks right. That actually works. <laughs> I've accidentally done something cool. Nice. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. All right. So, market area. Just need to get some zombie villagers in here. Uh, we do, of course, have access to the nether. But uh, we don't have any brewing stands at the moment. So, that might be a bit difficult. Hmm. Right. I tell you what. To end the episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into the nether. I'm going to see if I can grab some splash potions of weakness. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to dig underneath the temple in an attempt to find some uh, villager zombies. So let me go ahead, do this thing. If it takes a ridiculously long amount of time, then I'll probably just come back in and end the episode. If not, then uh, hopefully we can get something going. So yeah, meet you guys back, hopefully, in a minute. Oh my god! So many diamonds! Oh, 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 yeah, get, get, get out of here, you jerk bag. Oh, what the hell? Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this, baby! <laughs> oh, no, obviously, uh, that, yeah. It's gonna be like the biggest D's ever, but I'm actually not gonna grab them because I don't have my silky monster nor my, uh, my fortune bringer, so, uh, I'm not going to get a lot of diamonds from this, am I? So, yeah, I'm not gonna have to wait until, like, Hello. Maybe if you watch to the very end of the video, I might go ahead and put a little bonus feature where I get these things off camera. Eh? Eh? Yeah, that'll make you watch. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Alright, guys. The hunt continues. Oh, I see you, but this is a bit of a bad area, actually. Oh, God. Hello. Alright, somehow gonna try and lure you all the way back to base. Oh, God. God, <laughs> this might be a wee bit difficult. So yeah, challenge accepted, sir. Hello. Hi. You're dead. Uh, hey, 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 hey. What's this? What it? Well, I mean, if you're going, oh, he's really kind of going down to the right place. Actually, cool. You're dead. You're dead. I would also like you to die. All right, good stuff. Hey, brother. 
Hi. How are you doing? Oh, there's so many of them. Holy hell. All right. Okay, good stuff. Hello. All right, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. It's round here, buddy. It's round here. All right, let's start queuing you now, shall we? Here we go. There you go, brother. Right. Come on. It's not going to take that long to get you back to base, buddy. We literally just have to go up some stairs, and that is literally it. All right, come over this way. That's right. See, you're getting it already, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You're a smart zombie. You're a smart zombie, aren't you? You're a smart zombie. Come on. And he is trapped. Oh, yeah. Our first villager zombie. Ladies and gentlemen, we haven't even finished this place and we're already starting to populate. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that, my friends. I'm very happy with that, in fact. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Like I said, no idea how long the uh, episode has been, the second part anyway. So I apologise if it's been long slash short again. But, reminder, next episode will be episode 60. And for those of you who are unaware, every 10 episodes I do an extended episode with a map download from the point of the end of that episode. So many episodes in that sentence. Good lord. But yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to the extended episode. I sure am. I am definitely looking forward to getting some more progress done with this place because there are so many things we can do. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. Also, leave your questions of the video in the comments area below and you'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. Also, if you have any suggestions for anything I can build inside of Neptune's Empire, then again, leave it in the comments area below. But yeah, that is going to wrap it up for today, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your continued support. And I will see you guys in the next episode.